Can we all just ignore that for the time being? What's up guys, my name is Nick. And as you can probably tell, I like NCXT. I've already case swapped from the H510 to the H510 Elite. And while I was doing so, I thought it would be a great time to show you how to case swap a PC or pretty much how to build a PC. Keep in mind, I'm no expert, but I have built quite a few PCs. Since it's a case swap, I won't be going into how to place a CPU or the cooler, but I will link the AMD channel and their video on how to place the Ryzen CPUs. So let's just get into it. Generally, to start, you want to remove everything that's connected to the motherboard. This includes every stick of RAM you've added, all the cables from the 24 pin to the 8 pin, fan connectors and front I.O. You also want to remove the GPU from the brackets and finally from the dim slot and put it somewhere safe. After removing all 9 screws, you can take the motherboard out. You really want to put it on top of its box with the anti-static bag it came with, but don't put it on top of the table, you might bend a pin. Remove all your drive from their slots or the casings, and you can start removing the PSU from the PSU shroud. There should be 4 screws, put the PSU somewhere safe, and you can start managing all the cables. After all this is done, you can close your old case, tidy up, say your goodbyes, and put this baby on sale. When you're ready to build your PC, make sure everything is at hand. You really only need a screwdriver, a workspace, and well, patience. We start by opening up the side panel. If it's tempered glass, put it someplace where it won't shatter. Place your motherboard I.O. shield inside the bracket. This sometimes might be tricky, but fit it in there. After this, place the motherboard on top of all the risers. Try to wiggle the I.O. inside the shield. Now you can start to screw all 9 of these terrible screws into place. For me, this is the worst part. It just drives my patience to its limit. However, try to stay calm and fit them one by one. After all 9 are in and the motherboard is correctly placed, insert the RAM sticks into place. If you're running dual channel, place them in slots 2 and 4. Now we need to start managing all the cables. Make sure you've made a mental image on how you want them all placed. If you have a modular PSU, connect all your cables to it and we can start screwing the PSU in place. I like to manage my cables so everything has a route, nothing is impeding anything and it just seems clean. Once everything is organized, we start connecting the cables to the motherboard. You can do this however you like, there's no precise order, just try to stay neat and not so intrusive. This is my finished product and as you can see, everything is where it needs to be and there's minimal cabling that's showing. For the graphics card, you will need to remove the brackets in order to fit the card in place. It also depends on how you're mounting it. My card takes two spaces, so we remove those two brackets and then we fit it in place to the PCI Express on the motherboard. We secure the graphics card with the screws and connect it to its power cable. Now, the most important part of any PC build is seeing if it will post and turn on. So cross your fingers, if you did everything right, turn the power on and there you go. That's how you build a PC. And that's basically how you build a PC. If you did like the video, I hope you can give me a like and a sub. I'll be making a full review on this case soon because I absolutely love it. Go follow me on all my social media and I hope I see you soon. Peace.